meditation for the third Sunday of Easter. Find somewhere comfortable to sit, somewhere you're not going to be disturbed. As you sit, try to relax into the chair. Find somewhere for your hands to rest. You may want to uncross your legs. You may notice tension across your shoulders and neck. Just try to be as relaxed as possible. As it becomes more peaceful, you may become aware of the sounds around about you, inside and outside. Just notice those sounds and gently let them go. Without trying to change it, become aware of your breathing in and out. And when you are ready, close your eyes. Luke chapter 24, beginning at verse 36. Jesus himself stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were, they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he took it and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words, that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning with Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. So as you sit, picture this scene in Jerusalem. The disciples who have already had signs of Jesus' resurrection. Talking among themselves. I wonder as you look at them what their expressions are like. 
perhaps by now there is something of a frenzy of excitement, a sense that something has begun, that they are part of it. Perhaps they are also confused. Perhaps you can see questions and doubts. I wonder where you are in this scene. Are you with the disciples sharing with their conversation? Are you looking on from a distance? I wonder how it is that you feel hearing the stories of Jesus' resurrection appearances. And into this scene comes Jesus himself, standing among the disciples and saying, Peace be with you. look around the disciples, we are told that they are startled and terrified, that they think they're seeing a ghost. Can you see that terror in their faces? And what of Jesus? His next words are these, why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? I wonder how they respond to these words. I wonder how you hear those words. Can you relate to those times of doubt? of questions. Jesus goes on, look at my hands and my feet, see that it is I myself. He invites the disciples to touch him, suggesting that he cannot be a ghost if they can touch him. I wonder how they respond. Do they want to touch him or is it enough for him simply to say it? Do some of them still seem to doubt? And what about you? What kind of proof do you want? What questions do you have? Luke tells us this, that in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering. I wonder, is that something you can relate to? That there is joy in faith and yet still sometimes disbelief and wondering. Perhaps you can identify times you have felt like that. Jesus asks for something very practical. He asks if they have something to eat and they give him broiled fish, which he eats in their presence. Hospitality so central 
to all that Jesus stands for. And physical needs are very practical truth of meeting physical needs. After he has eaten, Jesus reminds the disciples what he told them while he was with them. He talks about the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. We are told he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. I wonder if you can imagine that scene. Perhaps this takes several hours, perhaps longer even than that. I wonder whether you can identify times in your own life when your mind has been opened to understand the scriptures differently and afresh. Those times of enlightenment. Something meaning something that it didn't before. Jesus says to the disciples, you are witnesses of these things. This is after he has spoken of his death and resurrection. He says that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations. As witnesses, this is the task of the disciples to proclaim repentance and forgiveness of sins. I wonder how it feels to know that this is what we are called to. I wonder how it is that we proclaim that repentance and forgiveness of sins. Luke 24, beginning at verse 36. Jesus himself stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, 
that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. So as you sit, gradually become aware of your surroundings, of the sounds around about you, inside and outside. Notice the chair you're sitting in. Begin to move your fingers and your toes, your hands and your feet. And when you are ready, open your eyes and return to this time and this place.